You are welcome to Educational World Selaxi. Thank you for tuning in. You are welcome to today's video lesson. This is a typical National Open University Physics Question, Physics 101. Here we have a very interesting question to look into. The question goes as follows. Two blocks A and B of masses 2 kg and 4 kg is connected through a light inextensible string passing over a pulley as shown in the figure. The coefficient of friction between the block and the surface of incline is 0 0.2. Find the acceleration released and the tension in the string. So this is the question we are going to look into. All right, meanwhile, if you find this, my channel, interesting and informative, smash that subscribe button and also the thumbs up button. Okay, let's go into the question proper. For us to be able to tackle this problem, first of all, we have to analyze the forces in play on the system above. Now, for us to do that, well, it's very important for us to notice that if the system of blocks is going to accelerate, the tension and the string will act along this direction, as you can see in the diagram there. All right. Before we proceed, now you can see that the tension in the string for the block A as the 2 kg block, the tension is pulling the block up the incline okay now for the block b that is a 4 kg mass of block you can see that the block is supposed to fall downwards but the tension in the string in this case now is holding the block so that it doesn't fall freely under gravity so i want you to take note of that so the weight of block b now the actual weight of block B, the weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. And when we substitute that where necessary, it gives us 39.2 Newton. So the weight of block B is acting downwards. That is part of the force that is in play. Okay. Now the normal reaction okay, of block A. A normal reaction of block A, we can get that using the formula Mg cos theta. And when we substitute the values where necessary, the normal reaction on block A is 16.97 Newton. That's the normal reaction on block A. Now, there is an opposing force due to the incline on, on block A, which, stress, which tends to slide block A down, down the incline. And that force is mg sine theta. And when we simplify and put the values where necessary, we have 9.8 Newton. As you can see then lastly we have the frictional force the frictional force is the last force that up that affects block a and that frictional force is gotten by the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal reaction and when we substitute that where necessary the value of the frictional force gives us 3.4 newton so these are the forces in play now we are now going to go ahead and resolve these forces to get the value of the tension and the string and the acceleration of the system, the two blocks. Remember to smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Now let's continue. Now we are going to consider the first block. We are going to consider block A. All right. Now for the for block A to move up the inclined plane. The tension in the string is pulling it upwards while the frictional force and the downward slope force of the incline is opposing that forward tension. So the resultant force okay, for the block A will be tension in the string minus friction minus mg sine theta. So we substitute the values where necessary. Tension is T, friction is 3.4 and mg sine theta is minus 9.8. Then we have that t minus 13.2 is equal to 2a. a is the resultant acceleration of the system. We call that equation 1. Now we consider 
block B. Now, block B, there are forces in play there. The forces are the weight of the block, which we normally make cause the block to fall freely under gravity. But in this case, the tension in the string T tends to oppose the downward motion of block B, so resulting in it falling at a controlled acceleration. So the resultant force acting on block B will be the weight of the block minus the tension in the string, which will give us the resultant mass times acceleration. All right, so when we substitute the values where necessary, the weight of block B is 39.2 minus the tension in the string T, which will be equal to 4A, where, where A is the resultant acceleration. Now, from equations 1 and 2, we have that T is equal to 2A plus 13.2 and t is equal to 39.2 minus 4a that's making t the subject of the formula in both equations so we are going to equate the two equations so we have that 2a plus 13.2 is equal to 39.2 minus 4a so simplifying for a and collecting like terms we have that a is equal to 4.33 meters per second square so that is the value of the acceleration of the two systems. It simply means that block A will move up the inclined plane with an acceleration of 4.33 meters per second square, whereas block B will also move down, fall, with an acceleration of 4.33 meters per second square. So that is that. Now for us to be able to resolve the tension in the string, that is very simple. So we are going to consider one of the equations. In this case, we are going to consider equation 2. So from equation 2, we have that t is equal to 39.2 minus 4a. Then we substitute the value of a, which is 4.33, into that equation. And when we evaluate that, we have that the tension in the string is 21.88 Newton. As simple as that. So we have come to the end of today's uh, lesson. Meanwhile... Remember to subscribe and if you have any questions, a comment on the comment section will be very interesting. Comment on the comment section concerning your question and I will attend to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.